The hours counter is primarily intended as a maintenance interval reminder. It replaces the old electromechanical clocks uh, popular on older machines. It has an enable input which starts the timer and we can set up parameters on the clock document as always. So service interval and we're going to say that our maintenance interval for this machine is 400 hours. We can OK that and we can check the variables here. In simulation mode, we can see that the maintenance interval is set at 400 hours, zero minutes, and the maintenance next or remaining time is 400 hours, zero minute, and the operating time so far is zero hours, zero minutes. If we observe the simulation clock, I'll switch on the machine run, and in one minute's time, we should see the change in the values. Okay, the time has now decremented. The time remaining has gone down by one minute and the operational time has increased by one minute. The timer also has the ability to set in, to preset the operational time. So for example, we may move a component into a machine that already has 250 hours runtime on it and we OK that and now we can see that the operational time is already at 250 hours. So when we run the simulation, we can see that the next maintenance period will be in 150 hours. For the demonstration, we're going to force this up to one minute to go. So 399 hours 59 minutes have elapsed. We need to turn the simulation off and on again. And we can see we have one minute to go. We'll enable the machine and run our time warp to speed things up. And after one minute, the remaining time has dropped to zero. The operational time has reached 400 hours and so the output is turned on. Now observe one feature here of the hours counter and that is when we switch off the machine run the output turns off. That might not be what you want. You may want that when the machine stops that the reminder light remains on. So there's an option here to set the output high when the enable is zero. I think a better wording here would be to keep the output high when the enable is switched low. The reset input allows the service engineer to reset the clock back to zero for the next service interval. So service is complete. Press that and the next maintenance period will occur in 400 hours, irrespective of what time is on the operational time. The maintenance interval can be set at up to 9,999 hours. There are 8,760 hours in a year, so that's a little over an hour maximum continuous run time on that. On the other hand, the operational time will count up to 100,000 hours, which is about 11 years continuous operation. There is a second reset input, the reset all. And if we run that one in the simulation, we can reset the operating time as well. And now the machine has gone back at a zero history on it. To aid in debugging, I like to use the message text display. So we can set that up. We'll give it a name, so service. On the display, as usual, we can add in the current time, date, message enable time, message enable date. In this case, we're more interested in the hours counter. And there are six values we can read here. The maintenance interval, which is displayed in hours, the time to go, 
or the MN, which is also displayed in hours, and the total operating time, which is displayed in hours. So notice the operating hours can run as an extra digit compared with the MI and MN values. We can also monitor the MI, MN and OT in hours and minutes, which is more useful. So we'll set this up. OK, and I like to uh, use the, the backlight for the simulation. It gives a little better contrast than the green display. We can demonstrate that here. So here's our message display set up. And if we turn on the backlight, we get a simulation of what happens on the logo itself. So here we can see the maintenance interval is set at 400 hours, zero minutes. The next maintenance is in 400 hours and the operational time so far is zero. So let's just set this up to 280 hours. Apply that and OK. Now it looks like we need to reset our simulation and back on again to have that update. And so with the system running, we have 120 hours to go and there are 280 hours operational time already. One very important point to note on the hours counter is that it counts in minutes and it only counts whole minutes that the enable input is on. So if you had a machine that was running for 50 seconds, off for 10 seconds, on for 50 seconds, off for 10 seconds, and use that on the enable input, the counter will round down to the number of whole minutes that it has seen and add those to the operating hours time. So the reported operating hours will always be lower than the actual on that. If this is a problem for you, you may want to consider using the stopwatch or some other counter feature for your application. Set retentivity on. One final point on this is the manual states that the operational hours is maintained during program download. So you can update the software in your logo without losing the operating time history. And depending on which version of LogoSoft Comfort you're using, the system will prompt you whether or not you want to reset or overwrite the operating time. Thank you.